are the book that I wrote, or all the words that we spoke, yet only with our eyes. Okay, tonight I have even less time than last night, so I'm going to have to do a rapid deployment contact at a park. I'm not even going to go to that same park. I'm going to go to a park I've never been to that's even closer. Uh, I just don't have the time. I can't mess around. Um, we got things to do. We have things. We have to go shopping tonight for a party and stuff. Okay, so I got something new to show you. I got the KX2 sidebar um, protection unit from Gems Products. It's like the little side handles and the plastic case. What that does is it allows me not to have to carry that big heavy pelican type case. So I'm even lighter. I just wrap my KX2 in a towel and it's safe. Um, I'm going to show you that here in a minute but I have to get set up and I gotta hurry. Okay I don't know if I got earlier video or not but um, I had it set on picture for some reason. This camera just jumps to picture sometimes and so I end up taking pictures and not moving. Okay so I have, I'm in a big hurry. I've got a set up. I've got a lot of things to do tonight. I only get like an hour. So I went to a park that's even closer. I've never been here before. And I asked you, a, I gave you a riddle. The riddle is, how do you fill an empty shelter with people without saying a word? Here's what you do. You set up your radio station. Then they'll come. Okay, I've got my box there. The first thing to do is set up the antenna. It came out real easily today. Um, this shelter is kind of in my way. The tables are so far over here that the antenna would hit unless I go at a really low angle. So I'm going to go at a low angle. Okay, check this out. I'm going to do a review on this later. I now have the side panels, protective cover, and I don't need that big case. I can just wrap it in a towel. I need to have to bring a screwdriver to put in my key, and I also hate to carry it with the key now that I'm wrapping it in a towel. I hate to have to do this on and off, but you, you really need a screwdriver to put that in. It's really hard to get your fingers in there and twist it right. Trying to rush. Okay, let's take a little overview. This is my B Bio Inno power. I talked about 12 volts, 3 amps. Radio is working. Um, I was a little scared because you have to do a lot of things to get this on. You have to take the get these side panels on it's harder than it the instructions will let you know you actually have to take sticker um, some stickers off some and you have to take this entire piece off the B and C connector to the radio okay in my last videos I had these backwards and I complained of not making uh, any contacts but I had because this was black this wire was black I was just automatically putting it in the black and then, and then as a ground or the counterpoise, I was putting that up in the air and I had this, the radiator actually on the ground, so I had them backwards. Probably because that's red. Well, what happened was I had speaker wire and I upgraded to this black wire. Um, so now they were both red, now it's black, they're backwards. So I added that tape there so I wouldn't forget. Okay, this strain relief is, in, is invaluable. See, I can pull on this, all day. I just lost tension on my... Okay, as I was saying, um, the, my knot slipped and the thing came down. Um, as I was saying, this bungee to this tension relief, invaluable. Because I can pull on this and the radio won't come off. This is just laying on the ground. I don't like how loose these are. Okay, 
so my antenna is not very high, maybe 15 feet. The reason is because this is in the way and I can't really go much higher and I'm in a hurry, so very low angle. That's okay, because the last time I did that, I talked to Japan. One of my YouTube viewers told me about this program. I said I didn't need to be using a notepad. I'm like, why didn't I think of that? So I bought this 73 ham log for $1. Um, you log your contacts and it does everything for you. So I'm going to try that out. Kid just tried to grab my bean bag. This is seat um, seven three log. Basically, to set the time, you just hit set, and it automatically knows it. That's pretty nice. UTC set frequency call sign mode RST. The only problem is I don't like typing like this. If I had a keyboard, that'd be cool, but I don't like doing this. I'd rather have a notepad. Calling CQ on 14.060. No response. Not hearing many people out there either. I heard somebody calling CQ, and then I called him back, and then silence. Somebody heard me. Sorry. He heard me, but it was too weak. He said sorry. Uh, this, is, this antenna is not good enough. A rush job gets you rush results. On 40 meters now. This antenna setup must be awful, or conditions are bad, or no one's answering. There's an airplane going over, so I can't hear now. I might have just a very narrow path, you know, like a very narrow gain so like no one can hear me over here or behind or anything is what I think. I think I found the slowest tier in the whole world. G E T C Oh my god. I thought I was bad. Not bad. I'm sorry. I would actually talk to this person but he's already talking to somebody. T H A That is he's taking so long that my decoder can't even hear him to decode. I mean my spotter. He's too slow. Okay. Hey, somebody's talking to me. I think it was W3SMF. I'm probably really, 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 really quiet. Somebody heard me and I sent back and they didn't respond. Alright, he heard me and he sent something and I didn't get what he sent. But he got only half my call sign, so I'm not even going to try him. I was heard, but I actually need a notepad. I'm still not good enough to decode and remember what they're sending me. I don't know how, how people remember, especially call signs. I don't think I've got the brain. I don't think I've got the mind to be able to decode and remember. I'll, I forget in, instantly. If I don't write it down, I forget. So I'm going gonna, gonna to have to have a notepad, I think. This isn't going to be good enough. 
it's helpful, but it's not good enough. I actually want the notepad back. Okay. If you don't do this, tie a knot that's easy to get off, and put the bag on the end, you will lose the end of it. You will lose the end of the cord, and you won't find it. You will make a mess trying to find it. <laughs> Super camouflaged in there. So I put this back. I finally figured this bag out, by the way. Yeah, so you do this and so you don't lose the end. bag is pretty awesome. I mean, it gets so little. It just goes... It's about four pounds, probably. It probably takes longest to wind up these wires than anything. And you push in one side like that. Then you hold this down. I can't do it with one hand. It doesn't actually go down very well with that key on it. So you kind of have to take the key out, which I don't like doing. It's a pain to put it back. Um, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. You really need a little side bag. I don't like how heavy this bag is. I'm trying to go as light as I can. But you really need a little bag like this to hold the tiny things. The connectors, the little wires, the screwdrivers, things like that. Um, just wrap it like that. Care of it. The bugs did not bother me. This shirt is really nice. I carry this now in here. I always make sure I have my radio. I mean, if nothing else, if I lose everything else, I got the radio. Not a bad park, but um, probably I should have set up. See, the problem with that is if you throw into that tree. If I throw my thing into that tree, it will fall down into all that crap back there. That's why you have to plan this out, but I should have just thrown up into that tree and sat on the ground. I would have been better off. Um, by the way, I was pointed to the south. My antenna was pointed to the south, and I'm in Missouri, and nobody could hear me. I mean, a couple people heard me, and they basically gave, they would go N9, da-da-da-da-da-da, as in N9 what? N9 what?